Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tech. Good to see you guys again. And I'm here today guys, just wanted to do a quick comparison preview between the Realme X7 and the Realme X7 Pro. Now guys, this is not my typical setup. I uh, actually typically film on my bed with a table and this, this entire setup, but it's actually really hard to do that in my current state. I'm standing on one leg right now, so I'll probably be able to do this for about five minutes here, and hopefully I can just get this video out to you guys. Apologies once again for the quality of these videos. They will improve once I heal up and I can get back to normal. But anyways, guys, just wanted to share here, because I did have this Realme X7 that I purchased right before my injury, and I wanted to just compare it here quickly to the Realme X7 Pro. I did a little bit of this on the on the previous video, but what I wanted to do was just talk a little bit about the specs and comparison between these phones. And, you know, kind of in my opinion, what I think you're getting between these two in their respective price points. Obviously, this is the 8128 Realme X7, and this is the 8128 Realme X7 Pro. And, you know, from the looks of things, these are pretty much identical devices, right? They have almost they almost almost identical backs here, but I will tell you, talking about design, you notice there's a little bit of a difference here on the edge, and I actually prefer the design of this Realme X7 Pro a little bit more because it's got this kind of, if you notice here, it's got this kind of ridge on the sides while the Realme X7 Pro has the ridge kind of here in the middle, and I just think this is trying to look more metallic this is not, this looks more premium than this phone by far. I don't know why that is because, you know, they're both made of plastic, but I do like this type of edge better when it's using plastic than having this kind of edge be right on the middle. But on the front, it's a different story. Look at the bezel difference between these phones. Realme X7, it's just sizable, guys. It's almost double the size of the Realme X7 Pro. And when you put them kind of like in front there, on each other you can just tell they just look I mean it just looks a lot more modern on the Realme X7 Pro than on the Realme X7 in terms of dimensions we're talking about 175 grams versus 184 so it's a little bit heavier 8.1 millimeters versus 8.5 and that's because this is housing a 4500 milliamp battery versus 4300 Display kind of quality, I would say, is pretty much, I mean, it looks very similar on both of these panels. I wouldn't be surprised if it really just was refresh rate that was different between these two panels. Now, because of that, we have, a, because of the larger bezel here on the Realme X7, we do have a 6.4 inch display versus 6.55. And yet you see here, the phones are pretty much... I mean, they're almost identical in terms of size. But there you see, guys, AMOLED 60, AMOLED 120. Guys, it's still a better choice than any LCD panel. And in, on, in all honesty, I would tell you guys that I prefer the panels on both of these devices than on kind of any LCD panel, even if it were to have a higher refresh rate. Because let's face it, guys, 60 hertz AMOLED still has all the properties you appreciate of AMOLED. So the deeper blacks, always on display, can be enabled on this phone. Let's go to about phone on both of these as well. So we can talk a little bit about performance as well. Dimensity 800U versus the Dimensity 1000 Plus. As you see, both of these phones running Realme UI version 1.0. And there you see the model number differences. Same eight gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of total storage. I think for, you know, the price, if you're going to get the Realme X7 with the Dimensity 800U, you should get the 6GB version. I don't think it's worth stepping up to the 8GB. You may as well go for the X7 Pro if that's the case. In terms of actual audio experience, you can see no headphone jacks on these phones. Now, they're all, now, there are dual speakers on the Realme X7 Pro. I don't think that's the case here with the Realme X7. I'll need to double check that. But just upon initial kind of audio experience of this phone, it's sounding pretty similar to what I've heard on the X7 Pro. 
but I do appreciate the stereo separation of the dual speakers of this phone. Just sharing a few other kind of key specs here, as you can see, DRM info, and this is something Realme does need to work on, L3 on both of these phones, which is a pity. I do wish that that was not the case. And performance, let's show you guys here once again, the big separation between Dimensity 800U and Dimensity 1000 Plus. Guys, it's going to be a big separation. I mean, honestly, if you want to get the best, I guess, Dimensity or MediaTek power chipset, you're going to get the X7 Pro. And this is really rivaling, surpassing the X2 Pro uh, from last year in terms of performance. And I think it is honestly one of the best chipsets that I've used. Second only maybe to the Dimensity 820, which as you guys know, I absolutely love. But this 800U is no slouch. It is actually a solid chipset. And when these phones are released for European release, we'll find out the full pricing of these phones at that time. But I do think, you know, Realme going the MediaTek route with their two kind of X7 releases I think right here, it was a solid choice. And I think this phone, despite having the 800U, is still offering really terrific performance. I haven't noticed any of the slowdowns that you would see from maybe the 732, even the Poco, even the K30 Ultra guys, has more stutters kind of in day-to-day -day use than this phone. I attribute it a lot to Realme UI, but I can also attribute it, I think, to the Dimensity chipsets in these phones. And last but not least, guys, the cameras, talking about the cameras, we have quad camera setups on the back of these phones, as you can see. There we go. And we have 64 megapixels on both of these. Now, I've been trying to find the information about the Realme X7. What is the sensor here? I can see that it can only shoot 4K 30, which might mean it has the Sony IMX 682. I do know that the Realme X7 Pro has the 686. And it is also capable of 4K 60 video recording, while the Realme X7 is not. So take it what you will. I think, and I really do think, that it is a lower 64 megapixel sensor. It may just be that it's not enabled though, and it is using the 686 as well. Now obviously guys, <laughs> because of my current situation, I haven't been out of the house since Monday, and obviously haven't been able to take photos, as many photos with this Realme X7, but once I do get better, if you'd like to see a full camera comparison between these two, stay tuned. I will be happy to do it. And obviously, stay tuned as well. If I do end up doing kind of more comparisons between these, uh, either charging tests or even kind of a gaming comparison, uh, then stay tuned for that as well. But this was just really kind of a, an initial look, one take here between the Realme X7 and the X7 Pro. And to be honest, guys, my final kind of initial verdict of using this phone, it's great. But I made the wrong choice picking up the 8128. Because I really wish if they had had the 6128, yes, you don't get the extra RAM, but you're getting the better price. And I paid, you know, around 2,500 Hong Kong dollars. This retails for 2399. But you can get the 6128, which retails for 1799, 1800 RMB. Well, this phone is coming in at 2100 if I'm not mistaken. And I actually have the Realme website up here so I can just have a quick look. Okay, so the Realme X7 Pro, it starts at 2199 the X7 Pro, and then the X7 starts at 1799 I mean, that's not much of a price difference there. For what you're getting with this X7 Pro, 120 hertz refresh rate, you're getting the larger display, you're getting the more modern bezels. You're getting the IMX 686, if that's truly the case on this phone. And last but not least, I think you're just getting an overall better package for just a little bit more. It'll be very interesting to see how they price this X7 Pro next to the X7 in Europe, because I think that's going to be the, the true kind of question there. How much will you need to pay for the added 120 hertz refresh rate and the kind of more modern look versus what you're getting here on the X7 Pro, which while great is looking a little bit more antiquated with this big bottom bezel than on the X7 Pro. But hit me up in the comments. What do you guys think 
of these two phones, X7 Pro versus X7, and Dimensity 800U, Dimensity 1000 Plus. Is there any specific reason you would go for this phone over the Realme X7 Pro? Hit me up in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. And that's it for this quick one take video, guys. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Ranky Tech, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for future updates. Oh, and my leg is shaking, guys. I've been standing for 10 minutes. So I'm going to sit down now. But anyways, hope you enjoyed it, guys. And once again, apologies for this kind of setup. I know it's a little bit ramshackle here. But I promise, once I'm able to put some sort of weight on my leg, I should be back to the kind of the full setup where I do my typical comparisons of this type. And once again, thanks for all of the well wishes. Knees doing better. It's still pretty swollen, but <laughs> hopefully by the end of this week, I'll be off the walking stick and I'll be actually able to move around a little bit better. But anyways, that's it for this one, guys. And this is where I leave you by saying, this is Frankie Tech signing off. Have a good one. Oh, okay. I sat down. <laughs> oh, that was tiring. All right. Thanks, guys.